Hey guys, John here. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can connect your Twilio account to Retail AI in just a few minutes. So you can assign a number to your AI voice agent and start making both inbound and outbound calls immediately. Unlike Vavi, where you can just provide your Twilio SID and phone number, you need to do an extra step, something called SIP trunking, to connect your number to Retail AI. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably based outside of the US. You can buy a number directly on Retail AI for $2 a month, but you can only buy American numbers and make domestic calls within the US if you do. So if you're outside the US like me, this is an essential step to deploying your AI agents. And if you want an AI agent built up for you on Retail, you can book a free call with me down below. So please subscribe and let's get right into it. So here I am on my Twilio account. So what you want to do is log into Twilio, create an account if you haven't yet, and then uh, go on to your main dashboard. And on the left here, you can see the country. So United States and Australia. So what you want to do is click under Australia, go under Elastic SIP Chunking, click Manage, and then you want to go into Chunks over here. So uh, we'll just go into here. So here we are on the Elastic SIP chunks. And what you want to do here is you want to cre uh, click this, create a new SIP chunk. So I'll just quickly name something here. So I'll just do uh, retail test YouTube. So here we are now under the general setting, we are creating our new SIP chunk. So uh, here we have to enable a few features here. So you can enable call recording and um, this doesn't really matter and you want to enable secure trunking and you want to enable call transfer and you want to tick enable P PSTN transfer as well. So uh, you enable these features, you can pause the video and um, yeah, so just uh, enable these features and then click save. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to go under termination so here we are under termination. So we can we have to set our termination SIP URI. So this could be your name, this could be your client's name, this could be your business name. So I'll just put uh, one here. So John Part YouTube test since I already have one. So I'll just um yeah, yes, it's available. And then here, IP access control lists and credential lists. So you have to add something here. And um, so you just click add and for friendly name and what you have to put in here, you can go on through the retail AI docs and here uh, it shows you the instructions, but I figured that it would be easier to make a video out of this. So um, this is why I'm making the video now. And what you want to do is uh, scroll down. So here, so you can see what to put into um, the credentials here. So here you want to put, uh, so the first one you want to put is default a ACL one and these figures here. So I'll just go back default. As you can see, I've already done it. So it's auto loading for me. And then you want to put one just to make sure. Yes. So this is the first ACL that you want to create. And then you want to uh, do another ACL. So default ACL two. And then this is the same as the one that is um, here on the retail docs. So you put that in as well. One, two, eight. And then you put one here as well. And yeah, you don't have to put anything under friendly name, but you can if you like, but doesn't really matter in the end. So. So I finished adding uh, to the IP access control lists and you, what you want to do now is add to the credential lists. And what you do here is there is the same set of instructions here. So default auth. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can put anything here, I think, but I'll just put a uh, default auth. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter anyways. So here, uh, you want to, um, write down whatever uh, you put in here. So you have to create a username and a password that meets this criteria. So I'll just put John part YouTube. Now, just remember, like I said, you want to uh, write this down because you will need it later. So I'll just quickly make one. And by the way, uh, I'm going to delete this straight after this. So yeah, don't try to like copy this or anything like that, please. Where do those? So uh, here I have uh, done it and you want to go under origination now. And here under origination, you have to add a new origination URI. So 
again, the instructions are on the retail docs. So I'll just go back here. So here you can see um, the uh, details that you have to add. So what you want to do is you want to copy this code right here and paste it into here, origination SIP URI. And you want to keep these the same, the default values. And then, uh, yeah, you want to add this. And yes, that is it for this. And we are going on to numbers now. And under numbers, you want to um, add a number here. So here, you want to add the number that you have here. So I will just um, add this number as a test. So yes, that was basically it for uh, Elastic SIP Chunking Setup. So what you want to do now is you want to connect it to your retail account. So you copy your number, you go into your retail account. And yeah, it says that it's a monthly fee of $2. But like I said, American numbers only and only two American uh, numbers. So you, um, so you go under phone numbers, connect to your number by via SIP chunking. You paste the phone number here. And then you can name your phone number here. So I'll just say our uh, receptionist. And now you have to fill in all the details here. So termination URI. So now you want to go back to your Twilio and to the termination section. And you want to copy this URL here. So let's go back to retail. Let's uh, paste it in here. Okay, so just remember this, remove the spaces here. And then uh, this is the same username and password that you put under default auth. So um, yeah, what you do here is just enter the same, um, yeah. And yes, uh, here it is. And and now you can select whether this uh, phone number will uh, be an inbound number or an outbound number. So you can select your uh, voice agent here. So that was it for this quick video. Yes, it was that quick and simple. I hope it was helpful and you connected your Twilio account and number to your retail AI account and your agents successfully. If you still have any questions or still stuck, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help. Also, it'd be really helpful if you leave a like and subscribe. If you want a one-on-one -on -one personalized AI consulting session with me, book a consultation down below. And if you want an AI agent built out for you on retail AI, book a call down below. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.